basically three breeding strategies. One, it's something in our brain where we hold information. What is that called, Brody? Your schema. Your schema. And your schema is your background knowledge, it's the things that you know, it's the places you've been, the books you've read, to make you know the things that you know, right? So we have to use what we know in our background knowledge, our schema. We also have to do something else. So we use our schema for this. That was one reading comprehension strategy. What other reading comprehension strategy might we use? We might ask questions. You're exactly right. We've been working a lot with questioning lately, haven't we? So you're right. Asking really good questions is what historians do when they start looking at images and things to help figure out why something might be or where it might be or what might be happening. And you oftentimes do that when you are looking at images too. So that will help us contextualize. There's one more thing that we do as a reading strategy that helps us as a historical thinking strategy too. Infer. What does it mean to infer?